hard, it's so hard being me. A big hello to everyone at Hammers Chat. I'm Tess from Middag from the women's team, and uh, I'm pleased to meet this have guy it. today. Have it, have it. No, that's my name, have it. Habit. It's not real name, it's a made up name, but everyone calls me Abbott. 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 How do you spell it? A V I T. Abbott. Abbott. What does it mean? Abbott. 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 I'm here with Abbott. Yeah. Today? Come on. Listen in. Come on, Giants. Go on. X Factor this. I don't go a lot on that cross. This presentation, I've managed to miss them, give them the flowers. Here they were, just walking off with them. Put them in a vase or something, but. Last nice match of the season. Just hope they're not on the beach already. Uh, you have a good game. I've looked everywhere. So, Julia, yeah. are you looking forward to the next season when you can get going again? Um, yeah, natürlich. Also, ich freue mich, wenn ich wieder auf dem Platz stehen kann und wenn ich wieder meine Spiele machen kann. Aber erstmal muss ich fit werden und um, ja, mein, mein Knie in Ordnung bringen. Und ja, dann hoffentlich bin ich bald wieder auf dem Platz und kann. Der Mannschaft wieder helfen, Spieler zu gewinnen. Game of the season. Here at Rush Green, it's a sunny day. A bit warmer than Wembley. Crowds building. Um, there's crowds well, right in front of me, you can't see them because yeah, if I do that, they're behind me. Yeah, crowds building up behind me. We're waiting for the players to come out. I've got my, I left my store at Wembley, so I've got to sit on my suitcase today. I'm here with Chessel. Oh, when you're going to start? Video. When you, yeah, video. On the uh, 11th of July we start pre-season and I'll be fully fit for that. That's yeah. soon. Yeah. And what position do you play? I'm a midfielder. Midfielder? Yes. And your English is fantastic. I've played in Manchester for two years. So well, that doesn't mean you're going to be good at English if you're uh, playing in Manchester. Oh, uh, well, that's true. What do I say? Um, who, uh, who, like Oasis, you know, when they go, yeah, they go um, like that with their shoulders. <laughs> Yeah. We sang a lot of Oasis, to be fair, uh, yeah. in Man City. Um, but I, I, from the top of my head, I don't know a, a Mancunian saying. <laughs> You seem like a really good personality to be in the. I mean, I've watched only from the sidelines, and so obviously you're not being played. Yeah. But are you are you fully fit now? Almost. Well, yes. What is almost? Well, I haven't trained with the team so much. Oh, that, right. So we'll start doing that from the okay. 11th of July onwards, um, and then I'll I'll get to full fitness, and by the start of the league in end of August or beginning of September, I'll be I'll oh, be out brilliant. there. Yes. And. Um, if you don't mind if I cut this interview down about 14 seconds or anything. That's okay. You? Bit of a weird thing. I'm the only photographer here apart from West Ham's official one. Right, and I haven't even bought one. I get it. Just like that, it's raining. Out stuns. Out stuns. Can it get any worse? Look. Can you see them? Can you see them bouncing? Ouch, it hit me in the eye. Anyway, 25 minutes gone. First time we've been with Amsterdam, look. 25 minutes gone, nil nil, we've got the free kick. Anyway, Amsterdam's getting worse, just a weather update. I think they're changing my channel to a lot of weather channel because it's ridiculous. Brighton have just scored. Animals came out, ball ran loose to us, summon up the other end, I can't see because of the owl stones. Put it firmly into the back of the net. It's 1-0 to Brighton. I don't know if you can see how bad that is. At least the Wembley weren't hand stone. About 35 minutes gone. Still 1-0 to Brighton, still raining. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Lisa Lehman looked like she was going to score a goal, but she didn't. Brilliant play by Jilly Fallow there. Um, chasing the long, long con uh, sorry, chase the, chase the lost, chase the lost calls, and then and made a tackle after that. Brilliant.
It's, uh, I think it was offside. Keeping a low profile, the ref's a bit of a whistleblower. Brighton still winning one, you can't accuse Brighton of being on the beach already. Well, actually, you could accuse them of being on the beach already, but but they're not. They're playing really well. And Moras just made a comfortable save. Talk, talk about comfortable. Oh, I have to do it the other way around. Like right, shipping forecast, or shipping whatever it is. Um, still 1 0 to Brighton, player down injured. Rain stopped, the house stopped. Ironically, everyone's taking a water break now. Last thing I need. Unbelievable scenes. It's Brighton. Sorry, I'll start again because I just thought something. Unbelievable scenes as Brighton. Uh, Brighton. I'll start again. Unbelievable scenes as Brighton have just rocked West Ham with a second goal. It looked like we'd escaped when the ball bounced off the post and looked like it might not have got in. But VAR, standing for very average referee, decided it did go in. So it's 2 0 to Brighton, all to play for. I'm going to make a joke about Piers soon, but I've just got to think it through. Nearly half time, still 2 0. Bad down injured. Not looking good so far, but I think it could pick up in the second half. My knees could get dry as the half time whistle blows. It's West Ham women nil, Brighton women two. Matt Beard there walking off, got a lot to do. He's got some subs on the bench. There's Tessel gave me a great interview. I couldn't shout her up anything to be honest. And uh, I think that's Julia Simic. She's been a great miss since she hurt her leg or something. She might be a missus actually thinking about it. Well, I'm here with the so-called fans. <laughs> Turn up now and again when I feel like it. Yeah, you know. That's a win. Haven't got time. So, and how many players have you met? All of them. Have you met all of them? I've met all of them. And who is the nicest? Oh, oh not getting oh, me that one. That's right. Not all right. getting me that one. I won't be that. Uh, so who's the worst? No, they're all lovely. All oh, lovely. They are, they are. This time last year, I just spoke to Tessel, she's really nice. Yeah, I spoke to her at Chelsea, she, yeah. we had a long chat at uh, Chelsea. I, 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 had a bit, I had a longer one, I've got it on film as well. <laughs> she's a topper, isn't she? Yeah, yeah she's going to bring class to our midfield next season. And who was the benefactor for you to stay in I can't say, go I on, can't go say. On. You can't tease us like it. that. I can't tell you, they wish to remain anonymous. Was I'll it get you, in was trouble. It? No. Was it you? No, I wish. Was it, <laughs> wish the money was it me? <laughs> it might have been you. Right, so second half prediction? 3-2 uh, West Ham. 4-2. 4-2, that's more like four, it. Four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, Can't believe it, it's English weather, look. Sun's out. Not, well, I say not a cloud in the sky, there's a few, but the sun's out. Players out for the second half. And uh, come on you irons. Got the old um, Ivy's jacket out of retirement. See if everybody thinks I'm important now. Still 2 0. Looks like Adriana Leon is stripping off and um, she's going to be replacing Jane Ross. So let's see if um, we can change the situation. At the risk of being like Michael Fish, the wind's got up a bit, but hopefully nothing too serious. And. Um, and have you enjoyed living in London? Um, yeah, sehr. Yeah. Also, ich bin jetzt seit fast einem Jahr hier und äh, ich liebe eigentlich die Stadt. Ich habe mich relativ schnell äh, eingelebt und gerade auch mit der Mannschaft. Das war alles ähm, von Anfang an richtig, richtig gut. Und von daher, ja, ich fühle mich wohl hier und ich glaube, das ist das Wichtigste, wenn man gut Fußball spielen will, dass man sich wohl fühlt. Oh, I see. In all my years of watching football, I've never seen what just happened. The referee got a substitute whistle. I think she had a lot of middle C and there it's got G sharp, something like that. But yeah, substitute whistle. Here's my own mucker, Mark Williams there. Been a West Ham lady support for eight years, beating me by about four and a half. Give us a wave, Mark. Oh, don't then. Brighton just missed an open goal. Um, someone got injured, missing it. But it's still 2 0. Brianna Vazali warming up. Oh, she's coming on soon. And what are your plans for the summer? Um, yeah, it's erstmal in Urlaub gehen. Ich habe 
jetzt in den nächsten Tagen auch Geburtstag, ein bisschen den Geburtstag feiern, die Familie sehen, nach Hause gehen, aber eben auch ein bisschen entspannen, aber für mich natürlich auch Reha machen und an meinem Knie arbeiten, dass ich dann nächste Saison wieder fit bin und auf dem Platz stehen kann. It's like uh, Rosa Kamita being given some instructions by Matt Beard and she might be coming on as well. So we're going for a couple of pacey players. She's just warming up. Put my net post now. Oh. Brianna Vizali just came on for Lucien. Right heart, um, right, right heart, right guard or something like that. Right heart. Um, that's our last professional game ever. She's going to do something to do with psychology or something. But well done, Lucien. Deep heart, start. 3 0. I didn't see the goal, I was watching Rosie Kamita about to come on and missed it, but it went in the net, I'm betting. That's 75 minutes gone and West Ham women have their first shot on target. Uh, an okay effort from Brianna Vizali, goal out to save it, but it was our first shot on target, 75 minutes. Come on, you're right. Alicia Lehman just took an elbow in a mush there in the penalty area, no penalty. Brighton have just scored number four to make it 4 0. Not a good day at the office. Alicia Lehman had a really good shot, well saved, and I actually got that on a photograph, so it'd probably be appearing here any second. And, uh, and then Brighton went up the other end and scored. The final whistle blows on the season. Didn't end great. But it's been a great season. And Claire Effort is saying goodbye to the fans. Kate Longer saying uh, hello to the fans. It's all very emotional. Too much for Rosie. Signing for Alicia, the fans. Can I sign yeah, yeah. <laughs> All for the fans. <laughs> All for the fans, really good. Do you speak English? Yes, of course. I used to be famous, but I'm